Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at not but one, but two robotic hands by Inspire Robots. Now, obviously we have ourselves a humanoid robot, AKA G1 over here, but his hands are, how do I say, more or less stationary. And that is about to change with these awesome looking hands. Now, aside being able to adapt to your humanoid robot, you can use them for research purposes or mount them just about anything. Now, together we'll be unboxing it as well as demoing how does it work and showcasing the app itself in the software. So if you guys want to learn more about them, check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So there's no point in opening both up, so let's go ahead and grab one for now and take a look at this thing. All right, so in terms of packaging goes, each hand comes in its own box. And right here, you can see, pretty cool looking display, kind of showing the hand in its glory, kind of moving about uh, as if it's actually pressing a button. Now this is smaller and high precision motion control experts, Inspire Robots. Uh, it's a company that makes a variety of different hands, and this is their latest one, the RH56F1. So as you kind of rotate it about, it doesn't really mention much in terms of details, but does show the different variations that they have here, as well as the different colors. So you have gray, white, silver, as well as black. All right, so it comes in its own nice looking plastic case. So you can use this for traveling purposes, it comes with a little handle, and then uh, it'll actually mention on the top which model it is, as well as the orientation. So this one here is the right hand. And then there's these two clips, and voila, <laughs> check it out. Oh, that looks so cool. Uh, so right off the back, you do see the hand here. You just wanna be careful kind of taking it out, but it is quite lightweight, I would have to say. Um, and it's actually got a really nice durable feel to it. So before I look at that in terms of detail, let's take a look at what else is in here. So this is everything that you'll get outside of the box. Um, looks a little simple and it actually really is. So obviously you have the robotic hand, uh, but then you have this connecting cable. Uh, so essentially where all the data kind of feeds through, just think of it that way. So on one end here, we have an interesting looking attachment. So if you look on the top side of the hand here, you'll see the connector port. Uh, there is a red dot here and a red dot there. And this just kind of lines up and it'll literally snap in there. You'll hear a little click. Now this is ready to go. And then the other parts here, uh, you'll see an ethernet port. This will be better for connectivity. You don't have to use it, uh, but it is an option. And then you have a power supply, which is absolutely necessary. And then lastly is our USB-A which is actually gonna connect to our laptop. Um, and then in terms of our power, so this is a standard, this is a 24 volt power adapter. Uh, if you can make it work with your robot and using a power source from the robot, you could technically connect it completely bypassing this adapter, but just keep that in mind. Now, this will actually connect to this part here, just like this. And then this can plug into the wall. To detach it, all you have to do is simply pull it out. Really easy. So looking at this hand, it's made out of a really nice quality grade material. So it's a heavy duty metal, but super duper lightweight. Now you have this nice metallic finish. Uh, you can actually see the paint shiny, and then I'll say Inspire Robots. Uh, you have your port here for connectivity. And then this is where it'll essentially adapt to the specific arm. So they'll sell an adapter plate, or you can make your own and then attach it with that. And there's four spots to go ahead and connect to it. In terms of the hand goes, it's actually made out of different materials. So you got some rubber components, the metal. Uh, right now it is locked, but uh, one thing to note is that there's actually touch sensors on here. So if you apply pressure, it'll actually read that. So we'll show that in just a little bit. Now, besides that, that's all there really is to it. So let's go ahead and connect it next <laughs> and try it out. All right, so time for the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and set this thing up. So the first thing we're gonna do is connect our hand, just like this. Again, it'll make a little bit of a click and that means it's now on there. And then from there, we're gonna take our USB dongle and connect that directly to our laptop. So this will be USB-A. So the next thing we're gonna do is take our power adapter and then plug that into our power source and then run that directly to this right here. Okay, 
From there, you'll see that there is a solid green LED on the hand. That means it is now connected and ready to go. From there, we're gonna open up our app and we're gonna switch our language to English and then we're gonna hit connect. Now, when you do first use this, you wanna see which COM your USB is connected to. So in this case, I do know that it is under COM here, COM4, and I'll hit search. And now it is officially connected. And I know this because I can already see a lot of the information being shown to me. So we can actually control it manually here. So if I move this toggle here, you can see I can actually see the hand reacting to it, just like that. And I can each individually move each of these up. And I can like do it up and down, whichever way I like. So this is a great way to test it. Um, and then same with the thumb, you can move that too. So that's up and down. And then you can actually move this left and right as well too. So it gives you a full amount of control in terms of essentially showing you how the actual hand moves. Now, another thing to note is the pressure point. So if I press against it here, you'll see that it's highlighting on the screen where it's being pressed against. So you can program this for a variety of different things. So you can see it all across and then on each specific tip of the finger. So if it happens to grab something, you can go and adjust it based off that. And then it'll actually even show the amount of torque that it's witnessing, which is kind of cool too. Now the bottom left will show the exact angle, speed, force that's happening. Um, and then it'll automatically adjust in real time. So you can see right here, all the different things that are being shown. You can also go into uh, action sequence and this will allow us to create our own custom animations. So I can actually uh, showcase some of the demo ones here. So that's like a, like a thumbs up. Do like another one here. So this is like action three, download, test. So maybe like grabbing onto something. So this is like, like that. So pretty cool. Again, kind of like grabbing onto something. So this is like almost like a fist. So if it were to like punch something, it would be like that. So this is kind of like, like that. Oh, you can make your own as well too. And that's all there is to it. So yeah, I mean, that's actually pretty cool. Again, kind of showing you the capability of the hand. Now again, you can co uh, connect two hands at once, uh, both of which have to be plugged into the computer and both of which require their own standalone power. For something like G1 here, um, this being the basic model would require its own external power for it to make it work. However, if you do happen to have the educational model, uh, you can technically plug it directly into it and then control it almost as a whole. Uh, but I'll still be figuring out a way to make this work with the basic G1 as majority of the people that I know that own one of these happens to have the same exact robot. So it will be kind of cool. So we're gonna make our own little external power source for the particular robot. And then uh, same with a little miniature computer that we can mount maybe on the back. Um, I think it'd be a really cool project. And then going forward, G1 will have his own set of hands uh, that he can use. So yeah, these are definitely really cool and hands down high quality. Now again, using this for research purposes and using it for obviously adapting it to a robot would be really cool. But again, you can do this for a variety of different things, especially you know using it for programming aspects. I can see this being a great tool. So yeah, that is that with the nutshell. So be sure to stay tuned as uh, we go ahead and adapt this next to our G1 and see exactly how does that all play out. So if you had any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye-bye.